What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. So after learning the basic of Revit architecture, so this time around I'm going to create a whole video for the beginners on how to use Revit for structural designing. Okay, so this will gonna be Revit Structure 2023 version. Okay, so the first topic that we are going to discuss is about the user interface again. Okay, so it's always like that. So let's learn how the user interface is organized to support your uh, workflow. Okay, so you can open any project or you can create any project for you to be able to start the exploring the user interface. Okay, so you don't need to have this exercise file. So you can always use the sample file of Revit, which you can find here. So I'm going to show you. So you can go to file. You can go to open and then you can click that drop down arrow and then you can see there the sample files. Okay, so you click the sample files and then these are the sample files that you can use. Okay, so you can use, let's say, for example, RST that is Revit structure, RME that is Revit MEP and RAC that is Revit architecture model. Okay, so for uniformity, so let's say, I'm going to use the RST uh, RS, RST basic sample project. Okay, so let me open this and then I'll select open. Okay, so let us use this one. Okay, so now the first part of the user interface is this area here. Okay, so this area here. Okay, you see this one, the architecture, structure, precast, systems. Okay, so these are tabs. Okay, so these are tabs on our ribbon. Okay, so every time you click the tab, it changes the tools below the tab. So it's uh, very simple. So these are ribbon tab. Okay, so that's uh, how you call it, ribbon tab. So let's say when I go, to, when I say, okay, so let's go to the structure tab. So that means you go to the structure here. So let's say, okay, so let's go to the annotate tab, then just click the annotate here. Okay, so this is our ribbon tab. Okay, now the next one, just below our ribbon tab, this whole area here, this one, this area here. Okay, so that is what you call your tools. Okay, so these are the tools. So let's say, okay, so let's click beam tool. Oh, that means I will gonna click this one. So let's say when I say let's go to the annotate tab, we need this one and then let's use the text tool. So this one. And you will also notice every time you hover your pointer to the tools, there are shortcuts there that you can use. Like for example, for detail line, you can type DL for the shortcut. So let's go to the structure tab. So let's say for the beam, the beam shortcut is BM. Okay, so that's the shortcut for the beam tool. Okay, so this is our ribbon tab and then this is our tools. Okay, so we call this each icon here. So that is our tools. Okay, and then you see this um, naming here. So like for example, let's go to the structure tab. You see the names here, structure, connection, foundation, reinforcement, model, opening. So this is what you call ribbon panel. Okay, so each ribbon tab has its own ribbon panel. So let's say for example, okay, let's go to the structure tab. And from your structure panel, let's click the beam tool. That's the one. Okay, so that is ribbon panel. So this is ribbon panel, panel, panel. Each tab you have panel. Okay, so very simple. So, so far we know that this is our ribbon tabs. Okay, and then these are the tools, tools, and then these are the ribbon panels. Okay, now you will notice this icon here. This is our home button. So it opens your home 
or Revit Home. So if, if you click that, you will go to the Home view, wherein you will be able to see the recently opened projects or recently created projects or models. And then you can also see here the recently created families or recently created uh, or recently opened families. Okay. So this is our home view wherein you can see the basic uh, tools here like open, new for creating model or opening model and opening new families or creating new families and other things. So this is our home view. So if you click that button again, so you will be going back to your project view. Okay, so that is our home view. And then this area here, originally this area here which is what you call the quick access toolbar this is actually located here at the top okay so it's just i'm used to placing my quick access toolbar below the ribbon panel here okay if you want to put your quick access toolbar again at the top you can click the drop down arrow and then you can click show above the ribbon and that's it so this is the original location of your uh, quick access toolbar so what is the quick access toolbar so basically your quick access toolbar it contains a set of default tools like for example creating new project opening project saving project uh, undo redo synchronizing your project printing to pdf etc etc okay so like tagging text 3d model and uh measure tool okay so these are set of default tools you can actually customize this by the way let me just put it again below because i'm not use my quick access toolbar at the top so you can customize your quick access toolbar by let's say you always use your beam tool so you can right click that and then you can add that to the quick access toolbar so it will be placed here so that if ever you are on annotate tab and then you want to use your beam tool no need to go to the structure tab and then select the beam tool it's already here so you just need to go to your quick access toolbar and click so you can customize your uh, quick access toolbar you can put here the tools that you always use so if you want to remove so you just need to right click you want to remove a tool right click and you can remove from quick access toolbar okay you can explore that so that is our quick access toolbar so what else you see this empty space here this empty space here is actually your options bar okay so options bar so why is it there's no option you see there's no option here on our options bar so the options bar is a conditional tool dependent on the current tool or selected element so meaning to say your options bar will only populate with options if you select a tool or select an element like for example let me open my found the uh, my level one okay let me open level one so here's my level one so if i select here my structural wall if i click that you will see that my options bar will now populate with options okay because your options bar is dependent on the uh, tool that you are going to use or if you select an object like for example i'm going to cancel my uh, structural wall tool by selecting modify so i'm gonna cancel that so if i select an element so let's say for example i'm gonna click this so uh, for this one there is no option but at least there's a name here that pops up so if i click outside to deselect so you will notice it will disappear right so how about the grid so if i select the grid again you will notice it will turn to green and it says their grid okay so every time you select an element your options bar will react to that one so if i select this one this is structural column so again my options bar here react to that and then it says there's an option here moves to uh, moves with grids option for that uh, structural column so basically your options bar will only 
populate with option if you select a tool or if you select an element okay so if you click outside or you select uh, modify to terminate it it will disappear okay so that is your options bar so it displays conditional tools dependent on the current tool or selected element and just like your quick access toolbar you can also right click your options bar and then you can dock that at bottom so it's now here okay so don't be surprised if your options bar suddenly disappears so maybe you just accidentally put it at the bottom so right click you can select dock at top that's the one okay so that's our options bar so so far we know that this is our ribbon tab, the tools, ribbon panel, this is our home, okay, and then this uh, quick access toolbar, this is the options bar. Okay, so what else? So we also have here the properties. This is the properties. That is the properties of your uh, elements or properties of your view. So it's a properties palette, this one. So if you close that accidentally, that's all right. You can still right click on the blank space and then select properties. So the properties palette is a modeless dialog where you can view and modify the parameters that define the properties of elements. Okay, don't worry. We are going to explore our properties as we move on our lesson. So that's our properties palette and then here this is our project browser the projects uh, the project browser it's like the table of contents of your project okay here you can open the views like for example you want to go to the 3d view then you can just double click or double click that and then you will now see your 3d view Okay, so the project browser, it shows a logical hierarchy for all views of your project, schedules, sheets, groups, families, and other parts of the current project. So again, if you close that accidentally, don't worry, just right click and then go to browsers, click project browser. Okay. So you can right click that, you can expand all or you can collapse all like that. And then you can click one by one if you want. Okay, like opening the sheet, opening a schedule, something like that. Okay, again, just like our properties, we will be exploring also our project browser as we move on. So I'm just telling you that this is your project browser. So it shows a logical hierarchy for all views, schedules, sheets, groups, and other parts of your current project. Okay, so that is an important uh, user interface of your uh, Revit. Okay, so that's our project browser. And then let's go back again to our floor plan. Okay, so here on our floor plan. By the way, zoom in, zoom out. Just scroll the middle button of your mouse. Okay, and then you can hold the middle button of your mouse to pan your drawing. Okay, now this one, obviously this area here is our drawing area. So that's the drawing area. And then we also have these tools here. So these tools is what you call the view control bar. Okay, so view control bar, it provides a quick access to functions that affect your current view. Remember, view control bar only affect your current view. So if you go to other view or different view, that view have different set of uh, settings for the view control bar. Okay. So your view control bar only affect your current view, right? So again, we w we are going to explore this as well as we move on. So here you can change the scale, you can change the detail level, the visual style, etc., etc. So that's our view control bar. Okay, what else? This area here. Okay, so that is our status bar. This one. So that's the status bar so your status bar it provides uh, tips or hints on what to do so like for example if I go to the structure tab if I select the structural wall tool if I click that 
So you can look at your uh, status bar. So it says click to enter wall start point. So you can pick point like that. And then look again at your status bar. So it tells you what to do next. Okay, so you can flip the orientation by pressing space bar, right? So when I click here, like that, see, it now says enter wall endpoint. So you can click again, you can click. So basically, it gives you tip or hints on what to do, okay? And also, when you highlight an element or component, highlight means you don't have any tool selected, you don't have any selected element, just hover your pointer to one of the element, like for example, like that, just hover, and then see what happens on your status bar, here on our status bar. So hover your pointer. So when you highlight an element or component, the status, uh, the status bar displays the name of the family and type, so that at least you have an idea what is that. So like for example, what is this? So you just hover your pointer, do not click. Okay, so that's a structural rebar. Just hover your pointer, hover your pointer. That's a structural beam system. Okay, so that is our status bar. Okay. What else? And if you are on uh, work sets or work sharing or, or your model is work shared environment, so you can go here. This is your work set. It creates and works. Uh, it creates work set and adds elements to them. Okay. So again, we are going to discuss this as we move on in our lesson. Okay. So basically, these are the uh, important user interface that you should know when using your Revit structure. Okay. So that's it for this simple exercise. Just a review. By the way, this is our title bar, okay? So this is the title bar, so it shows you the Revit version and then the view that is currently open, which is Structural Plan Level 1 and then the name of the project. So this is the version of Revit, the name of the project open, and then the name of the view currently open, okay? So this is our uh, title bar, ribbon tab, tools, Ribbon panels, okay, and quick access toolbar, options bar, what else? The home, home view, project browser, properties, drawing area, uh, what's this? View control bar and options bar, okay? So that's it for this uh, simple uh, navigation of the user interface. So see you next See you on the next video. Thank you for watching.